Today we are talking about the best AI stocks to buy right now. The uproar surrounding AI stock valuations has been deafening, with critics questioning the lofty prices of mega cap tech stocks that promise profits and real life AI products that still lie far into the future's horizon. However, the market seems unfazed by the skeptics' cries, and the AI led gains in stocks show no signs of slowing down. Analysts are expecting more money to flow in, with Goldman Sachs's Scott Rubner proclaiming a wall of money heading toward the market. AI is the promising theme that experts, billionaires, money managers, and long-term value investors are betting on, making it the center of attention in this exhilarating market. One stock that has captured Wall Street's imagination is Apple. Although the tech giant's AI strategy has been thus far non-existent and lagging behind competitors. This has led to Wall Street's patience running thin. However, Apple investors remain steadfast in their belief that the company will shine through in the AI race. Race. The market is eagerly awaiting the Worldwide Developers Conference event, where Apple is expected to reveal its AI plans. Dan Ives of Wedbush, one of the biggest Apple bulls, recently declared the WWDC as the most important event for Apple in over a decade, as the pressure to bring a generative AI stack of technology for developers and consumers is front and center. Ives believes Apple will be able to create an ecosystem around its AI offerings, leading to a surge of $30 to $40 per share due to its AI products. Apple is currently trading at 27 times its 2025 earnings per share estimate, which is still a high multiple given Apple's 9.6% growth estimate for 2025 and 10.5% per annum growth expected over the next five years. However, all of this could change if Apple can pull AI-related catalysts out of its bag. The WWDC event and the new few weeks and months would be critical for Apple's growth trajectory. The first signs of Apple's AI capabilities are already here. Last month, Apple revealed its new M4-powered iPad Pro and claimed that its devices, powered by Neural Engine, will be more powerful than any neural processing unit in any AI PC today. Apple's Neural Engine is its neural processing unit that accelerates AI workloads. Notable Wall Street analyst and Deepwater Asset Management managing partner Partner Gene Munster recently made waves when he stated on Twitter that Apple is a better investment than Nvidia for the long term. Munster believes owning Apple over the next year will have a higher return because the market is in denial about Apple's AI potential. Alphabet, on the other hand, is apparently in a fight against competitors in the AI race that, according to many, threatened Alphabet's search and advertising business. However, many analysts believe Alphabet is making a big turn and will continue to grow. Alex Kantrowitz, the founder of Big Technology, while talking to CNBC last month, said that the present for Alphabet is looking real good amid revenue growth, leadership's harsh stance against those making trouble inside Alphabet dividends and buybacks. The latest data analyzed by Bank of America shows that across all devices, Google's market search in search gained half a percentage point in May on a month-over-month -month basis. Bank of America analyst Justin Post said this shows Alphabet's AI overviews are aiding query growth and usage. Alphabet investors believe the company is just getting started with AI product launches. Alphabet is indeed in a strong position to develop an AI ecosystem around its products. For example, demos have shown that the Gemini app will help people perform daily personal tasks like note-taking, appointments, writing, and more. These features could easily be integrated with other Alphabet apps. Alphabet's goal is to urge users to sign up for the Google One AI Premium plan, which has a $19.99 price tag. Analysts also believe Alphabet is in a strong position to offset any headwinds or lost market share in Google search with YouTube, which saw its ads revenue reach $8.1 billion in the first quarter, a 21% growth. Alphabet's net income in the period came in at $23.66 billion, up 57%, or $1.89 per share. Alphabet investors believe the market is not incorporating Alphabet's growth in cloud, other bets, video, and other high-growth initiatives. The stock is trading 20 times Alphabet's 2025 five earnings per share estimate of $8.57. This multiple makes the stock look attractively valued since Wall Street expects Alphabet earnings to grow by 13.4% in 2025 and by 19% over the next five years on a yearly basis. On the other hand, we have Nvidia which has gotten several bullish calls from Wall Street lately. Bank of America recently added Nvidia shares to its US1 list, which includes Bank of America's best investment ideas consisting of buy-rated stocks trading in the United States. 
United States. NVIDIA's latest product announcements and its plans revealed at Computex show that NVIDIA has much more in its arsenal to power its growth engine. Analysts believe NVIDIA's shift to new AI architecture, known as Rubin, and its powerful H100 and Blackwell chips easily beat competitors. NVIDIA will start shipping H200 in the second half of this year. At its GTC conference, NVIDIA revealed three accelerators, such as the B200, GB200, and NVL72. All of these products provide growth catalysts for NVIDIA shares and justify its price-to-earnings multiple of 71, given NVIDIA's growth expectation of over 100% this year and 32% next year. Based on the 2026 earnings per share estimate set by Wall Street, NVIDIA is trading at a forward price-to-earnings multiple of 35.74, which makes the stock's valuation attractive given the growth catalysts it has. You should also know that Raymond James recently upgraded Meta Platforms shares, citing Meta Platforms' generative AI ambitions. The firm's analyst, Josh Beck, increased his price target on the stock to $550 from $525. Why is Meta Platforms a promising AI stock? The social media giant is using AI to optimize ad targets targeting and recommendation systems to boost engagement and advertising revenue. In the first quarter, Meta Platform's revenue jumped 27% to $36.5 billion. A whopping 97% of this revenue came courtesy of ads. In 2024, Meta Platform's ads revenue is expected to rise by 17%. Reels, which is posting solid numbers and engagement lately, saw a 20% ad load in the first quarter, compared with 16.2% in the same quarter last year. Meta Platform's recently posted spectacular quarter one results, but the stock slipped after the company revealed that Meta Platform's capital expenditure will come in the range of $35 billion to $40 billion, higher than the previous forecast of $30 billion to $37 billion. However, long-term analysts believe since most of this spending will go into AI projects, it'll bode well for the stock down the road. Based on its 2025 earnings per share estimate of $23.11 set by Wall Street, Meta Platforms is trading at a forward price to earnings of 21, which makes the stock attractively valued given Meta Platforms earnings are expected to grow 14.5% next year and by 30% over the next five years on a per annum basis. Last, Microsoft is strongly positioned to benefit from the AI revolution sweeping across both software and hardware industries. The stock has a new growth catalyst in the form of AI PCs. Piper Sandler analysts Brent Bracelin, Hannah Rudolph, and J.R. Herrera recently said in a note that Copilot Plus PCs could spark a long-anticipated PC upgrade cycle. They have a $465 price target with an overweight rating on the stock. During the fiscal third quarter, Microsoft's revenue jumped 17% year-over-year to $61.85 billion, while its adjusted earnings per share saw growth of 20%. Microsoft Intelligent Cloud revenue growth came in at 21% on a year-over-year -year basis. Microsoft Cloud's market share also grew to 25%, and Microsoft is slowly but surely catching up to Amazon, which has about 31% market share. Analysts believe Microsoft's AI ecosystem around its products would strengthen its cloud division thanks to Microsoft's integration of AI into its cloud products. Microsoft Intelligent Cloud Segment's profit in the latest quarter totaled $12.51 billion, a whopping 32% growth on a year over year basis. In the end, AI stocks remain a hot commodity, despite skepticism, with investors betting big on the transformative potential of artificial intelligence. Apple faces pressure to reveal its AI strategy at WWDC, with analysts projecting a significant stock surge if its AI offerings impress. Alphabet is engaged in an AI battle to protect its search dominance, but is expected to leverage its ecosystem to drive growth. NVIDIA's new AI chips and products justify its premium valuation given robust expected growth. Meta is optimizing ads with AI to boost revenue, while Microsoft aims to spark a PC upgrade cycle with AI capabilities, bolstering its cloud and search initiatives. Overall, Wall Street remains bullish on AI plays across software and hardware hardware, banking on strong earnings growth amid a wave of revolutionary AI products and services. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.